Welcome to Kingston University. My name's Tanya. And I'm TJ. We're both students at Kingston University. Studying in a new country may be very different from what you're used to, but this short film should help you to understand a bit more about what to expect when studying in the UK. Firstly, congratulations. You're already a successful student in your home country, either at a school or university, and have been accepted onto a course here at Kingston. When you start your course, as well as adapting to new teaching methods, you will be adjusting to a new living environment and you may experience homesickness and culture shock. All of these things may affect the way that you learn here in the UK. Everyone will have a different learning experience, as we have all had unique learning experiences up until now, but you should be aware that there are other things that may affect your learning. Depending on where you are from, learning may be very different. Even things such as the way you address academics or teachers, flexibility over deadlines and start times of lectures may be very different in the UK from the culture that you are used to. It is important that you recognise these differences in order to be a successful student here in the UK. In the UK, teachers typically expect students to be independent, to show initiative, speak spontaneously in class and to challenge or question teachers. Now this might be familiar to you and some of it might not. It is important to remember the goal in the UK is to create independent learners and critical thinkers with the focus on learning rather than teaching. Students take control and are active learners working independently, learning how to think, not what to think. This may seem like a big change, but thousands of international students come to the UK every year to study and they do adapt easily enough with a bit of support. Reports have shown that it can take about three to four months before you are completely settled into the UK. If you're studying for a master's degree, you have less time to adapt, so you need to make sure you access all the information available before the start of your course. This support will help enhance your learning and help you adapt more quickly. To complete your degree, you will be assessed throughout your course. In the UK, assessments are marked and then a sample are marked a second time by another tutor to ensure the most fair mark is given. External examiners are also brought in to moderate the process to again ensure fairness. The UK works on a credit system. In order to successfully complete your degree, you will need to achieve a certain number of credits per module. Your course will be split up into modules or classes and each module will be worth a certain number of credits. If you pass all of the assessments in your module, you will receive these credits. However, if you do not pass, you will receive no credits at all for that module. Undergraduate courses are taught over nine months of the year. Each academic year is divided into two semesters. Each semester is worth 60 credits. And as a result, the whole academic year is worth 120 credits. Master's students, on the other hand, take up the full 12 months and this 12 month period is worth 180 credits. 120 of these are taken up by tutor-led sessions, while the other 60 is taken up by a dissertation. In postgraduate study, there is more of a focus on individual learning and individual study than there is in undergraduate. The majority of your learning will be done in your private time, following the guidance and advice from your lecturers and by doing a lot of reading and research. Undergraduate students are expected to do about three to four hours of additional learning outside of the classroom for every hour taught, whereas master's degree students are expected to do about 10 hours of additional learning outside of the classroom for every hour taught. Plagiarism is the term used to describe the use or close imitation of the language and thoughts used by another author and presenting them as your own work. This is an issue taken very seriously in the UK and at Kingston and can result in serious consequences. Simply put, you must never copy sections from a book and submit it as your own work. Always rewrite your findings in your own words and also never cut and paste from the internet. More information about plagiarism will be available from your course tutors. As an international student, you will experience many of the same problems as other international students who are starting their studies at the same time as you. So don't worry, you are not alone. Students often report that they find it difficult to take notes at speed, ask questions in class, participate in class discussions, challenge their lecturers, and even structure their own learning. If you think you have similar problems, you need to think about ways that you can overcome them. There are plenty of support services from the university, so make sure you use them if you need to. 
In order to make sure that you are a successful learner in the UK, you will need to move from passive to active learning. You need to take control and become an independent learner. Make sure that you appreciate the academic freedom in the UK, question your academics and teachers and extend your knowledge. We hope this video has been very helpful to you. Enjoy your time in the UK. Enjoy your studies and good luck.